Welcome everybody, I'm Egoist and I'm gonna vibe to Her Tears Were My Light. So, uh, I just wanna start by saying, um, I, I wanted to, I wanted for this channel to be, uh, daily videos, but I might have to do it weekly, because school and all, um, also my dad likes to use the computer a lot, so I don't really have all the time in the world to record, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna update daily videos, and uh, I found this game when I was looking through the LGBT tag in itch.io because um, I like representation a lot, I, I said that in my last video, um, and I've, I've seen this before when I was uh, looking through games like before I even started this channel and I decided to play it now because well why not um, in the description it said it had mild horror themes so be warned for that and it also said it's really sappy so if you don't like that I guess don't watch this video um, and one last thing I'm terribly sorry for the messed up audio in the last video right at the end Again, I, I booped my headphone cord, and I didn't realize it fucked up the recording. But yeah, I, I hope that wasn't that big of an issue. But yeah, let's no further ado, let's not delay this any further, let's begin the game. Even though this menu song is really good. Darkness. Darkness and nothing, in all directions. Solid beginning. <laughs> At some point I started thinking. Shouldn't there be something here? Something anywhere? So I started looking. I don't know what exactly I was looking for, but as I wandered, I spotted a light in the distance. I wonder what light that was. As I approached, I found another. And another. A trail of burning bright lights. They traveled out and away, their steady glow piercing tiny holes in the darkness. They fascinated me. I decided I'd walk until I reached the source. There it is. I found a girl. She was sitting on a bed of those stars. It was a beautiful sight. Kinda sad though. Hello. Space? Memory saves someone's here. Space? She's the embodiment of- Wait, are her tears like stars then? If she's straight up space? Okay, uh, oh, someone's here. What should I say to her? Are you crying? Yeah, no shit. Time, okay, space and time, nice. Excuse me, but have I been crying? I, I felt so lonely, I, I just can't seem to stop. But now someone's here, I didn't think someone would come, but you're here. <laughs> Aw. Wow, I'm so happy. If you're happy, then stop crying. Honest with face. But... <laughs> huh? How did you know my name? Yeah, how did we know your name? I don't know. I just slipped out. How did- Yeah! She never told it to me. But something about her feels so familiar. Like an old friend. Dude, okay. I- mm. I turned down the volume. Before I started recording, I, I, it still feels loud. But I don't want to... Okay. I can barely hear myself. <laughs> now I don't know if it's too silent. I I'm gonna leave it here. Um, this isn't fair. I didn't even get to introduce myself. And now I have to ask for your name. It's time. 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 Time, 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 time. Time. What are you doing? Saying it eight times will help me remember. Eight on its side is infinity, so that's how I'll never forget. Hmm. I see. <laughs> so, time. Where did you come from? The start, I guess. Um. Um. Yeah, I'll save. I'm already. The game auto saves using save points. Then let me. Be real. No, wait. No, I don't want to quit. Um. You know, usually when I play these types of visual novels, um. I don't usually use save points, um, 
because what I like to do is I like to go I like to choose the ones where I would actually say in the situation but sometimes I really want to get along with a character that I said overthinking about what to say um, oh, I guess the start I had to give it a name and call it the start the start hmm. yeah so what makes sense to begin at the start <laughs> Does that make where we are now the middle? I wouldn't say this is the middle. I'd say this is the start still. But you started here, didn't you? I don't know if we could call it the middle. Yeah. We can. This place has changed. Has it? Yes. You're here with me now, time. So, before it was the start and now it's the middle. Made sense in its own way. This girl is very straightforward. So, if there's a beginning, is there an end? There always is an end. Probably. It would make sense for that to be the case. You think so too? I wonder what it's like. You know, this is not a good thing to say because recently I've been kind of going down the Bojack Horseman uh, rabbit hole. Because if you haven't watched it, by the way, go watch it. It's like really good. <laughs> and like, I, I watched this review of The View from Halfway Down. And like, I, I've been just really deep in thought since then. Also, the song uh, Don't Stop Des Dancing, both the reprise and the original, have been stuck in my head ever since then. <laughs> like, um, in class, I was writing the lyrics to it on my notebook and in the books and stuff. And I've also been... You know the, you know that one part in Don't Stop Dancing where there's the, the woman dressed as Beatrice tap dancing? I've been tapping my nails against the... Um, I guess anything really to to mimic her her tap dancing, and I've just been like really conscious of death right now. Quick rant here. Um, I've always been kind of aware of death. Like I'm an atheist, and I, and I was raised an atheist, so I never really pictured anything after death. And I've always kind of been a nihilist too, since I was always aware of death, and I was never really scared of it. What I am scared is dying in a way that's painful. Like, if I want to die, uh, I want to die in my sleep, like everyone else probably. Uh, which is also precisely why developing dementia is one of my biggest fears. But, but Bojack Horseman, it made me actually feel existential dread. Which I've never felt in any other time in my life. And that's, why, and that's why I love it so much. If it can mess with me that way, with something that I've already accepted as normal and inevitable, like, fucking amazing. Uh, anyways, <laughs> sorry for that rant, which is completely unrelated, but, you know, I just had to talk about it. What if the end is sad? The start was lonely. Will the end be lonely too? Yeah. Yeah, we started in the void and we'll end in the void. I don't want that. Wow. <laughs> you cry a lot, don't you? Yes, because look, whenever I do, these stars come out. Yeah, so her tears are stars. I'd already noticed, maybe it'd be rude to point that out. Can't really explain it, but somehow they make me feel a little less lonely. I wouldn't say I feel that, but I do really love stars. I could just stare at the sky for hours and hours and hours. Uh, I wish I lived in a place with, or at least visited a place with less light pollution so I could actually see the full on sky. Because if you live in the city, uh, you probably know that when you, see, when you look up at the sky, you see a couple stars, you know, some white little dots, varying in size in the sky. But when there's no light pollution, like in a forest, for example, you can see the full Milky Way. And there's so many colors and so many stars, and it's. I really want to experience that in person myself. And again, I, I wouldn't say they, the stars make me feel less lonely, um, but they do give me some sort of peace. I think this ties back to my nihilism. I, okay, I was not expecting this game to make me talk so much. Um, but yeah, I think it ties, ties back to my nihilism because I look up at the stars and I'm like. The universe is gigantic. The universe is pretty much infinite. To the point where nothing that I do, nothing that anyone does, is gonna matter. And that's comforting for me. Um, I don't like having too much pressure on me. I don't think anyone does. But 
I guess you could say I kind of have ex-gifted kid syndrome. <laughs> because uh, everything used to be easy. I didn't even need to try to get good grades. But somewhere along the lines it became difficult and I never created the habit to study. And looking up in the sky and seeing all the stars, it makes me realize that it doesn't matter if I live a good or a bad life. Because I'll be forgotten anyway. And that really does calm me. Because that means I can just sit back and enjoy life. You know? Anyways. Uh, so, from the start, you've just been making stars here? Yes, you see, when there is nothing, I want to put something. Does that make sense? I guess it does. What kind of things do you do, Time? Move the universe. I can make the universe move. Forwards, backwards, I can jump to any moment I've already, ex already experienced. So, time traveling is real in this universe. Wow, that sounds like hard work. Making Star sounds harder for me. Well, if she just needs to cry, then... No, that's easy. Watch. Yeah, there... Yep. <laughs> I didn't mean to make her cry again. Actually, it's just a good chance to demonstrate. Huh? Alright, I've remembered the outcome. Oh! Now rewind. Oh! To when I said making Star sounds harder, then I can try to stop her from crying. This is, this is like Life is Strange. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen, I've never played it myself, but I've seen gameplays of it. And I remember that one scene where Max is trying to prove to her friend, which I forgot the name of. Something with C, I think. Uh, that she has time powers. Need to rewind, I guess. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. Hey, don't start crying just to prove how easy it is, okay? What if I didn't rewind? Huh? How did you know I was about to- Is that how we knew her name? But no, but we would've remembered. That's my power. You already cried before, so I went back to the moment before you did in order to stop you. Wow. You're incredible, Time. Mm-hmm. That was nothing, really. You know something? I only just met you, but it feels like we've always known each other. I did know your name from the very first moment I saw you, so maybe your feeling is true. But I can remember talking talking with you like this before now. Just like I can't remember crying before you changed what happened. Yeah, but yeah, which is... But the thing is, time doesn't remember you as well, but somehow she knew your name. Must be a paradox. Hey, how'd you find me in the first place? Just followed your stars and you were... Oh, that means... Hey, if we ever get separated, I can just cry. That way you'll always be able to find me. Sure, but I don't like. I don't know if I like the thought of making you cry. I won't have to as long as you're as long as you're here with me. I'm kind of afraid of going back to go back to being alone. I I swear I'm, I apologize for not reading well. <laughs> also, I stutter a lot and pause in my sentences a lot. I don't know why I do that, but I apologize as well. <laughs> All right, I'll stay. It doesn't seem like there's anyone else out there anyway, so I have no reason to leave. Huh. Anyone else? Oh no. If there is someone else out there, don't you think we should try looking for them? Well, let's save again. Um... Okay, so there's time and space. But that's... That's like the only... Those are like the only foundations of the universe, right? I don't know if foundations is the right word. I think Einstein said something about this. I don't know. Again, I, I, I don't like physics. I mean, I do like physics, but not that much. Is it even about, is it even about physics? Okay, um... But, you know, let, let's just... Let's look for it. Let's look for someone else, anyway. But you don't want them to feel lonely, do you? Exactly! I'm so happy you understand, Time. Alright. All we found was darkness. Yeah, as I thought. Um, I'll be right back. I'm like really first. I'll get some water. All right. We wandered into the void together to see if we could find anything else out here. But all we found was darkness. And the more darkness we found, the more space would cry. I didn't like seeing her cry. I didn't want her to feel lonely. Much to my relief, she agreed to rest when I suggested it. I closed my eyes for a while. When I opened them again, I was back in the dark. Space? No response. Uh-oh. 
What happened? All the stars are gone too. Did I make a mistake? Oh, we ran from here to before I close my eyes. I won't close my eyes this time. I have to pay attention. I just want to say I really like this mechanic already. So I don't miss what caused everything to go black. Time? It looks so serious all of a sudden. Something strange happened. But I don't know what it was. Something strange? Scanning the cosmos. Is it a black hole? Oh god, it's a black hole, isn't it? No, but how would time survive if it was a black hole? Um, okay. I noticed something seemed to be blotting out, uh, blotting out a group of stars in the distance. I'd spotted the anomaly. I could just barely make it out against the dark background of the void. There was someone out here after all. Uh, as, uh, as soon as they noticed I spotted them, they disappeared. I squinted towards the area they would be sandy only a moment before, thinking I could easily find them again at such a distance. But very suddenly, hello, she appeared, right behind space. You do have a hole in your body. You might actually be a black hole. What are you? Nil. Never mind! Nil. Nil is a nothing. Her the She phased right through space, somehow erasing her from existence. The stars around us dimmed and faded as she disappeared. This is what happened before. This is what I missed by taking my eyes off of her. It was awful. I wanted it to stop. Bro! Where space once stood before me, there was now only nil. What have you done to space? And the stars? And how am I still alive? In the nothingness? Like, I'm a, I'm a construct. Why am I still alive? He took away all the beauty, and now all that's left is the void. I mean, I like the void. But it's beautiful like this too, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. N no, no, I don't like it. Bring back space. Bring her. Bring back her stars. I think space is dead. If that's how you feel, I'll lock you in this moment until you understand. No, I won't accept this. What can I do? If I return to the start... If I could start over now, I could change this. But otherwise, I'll be trapped in this loop. Oh, there's a reset button. Yep. Oh, okay. Darkness, darkness, and nothing in all directions. I did not know this was gonna have the same mechanic of restarting and it being different, like the last game. But I like it, I like it. Uh, there's a pattern of... of time here <laughs> in these games uh, but I knew someone was out there I just had to find her again so I started looking I wanted to find space and as I retracted my steps retraced my steps I spotted her light in the distance there was space seen on the bed of her stars just like I remembered again this how did time know her name because here we knew who space was because we or we fucking saw her die, but um, let's not. God damn it! Let let's not do this. I don't know why, but I feel like this would go very wrong. <laughs> uh, are you crying? That's what I said before. Acting too differently might just confuse her. I'll just try to recreate the first memory. Yeah. Excuse me, but have I been crying? Wait, I can probably fast forward. Wait. How did you know my name? Of course I know your name, even though you didn't tell me the first time either. This isn't fair. Okay, yeah. Um, that's how I'll never forget. Except it's impossible for you to remember when I go back to before I told you. So, time. Where did you come from? See how I'm overthinking this? I want to do the same things. I don't want to... Man, she'll probably have like an ex... But, but she is existing, so I guess you wouldn't have an existential crisis, but... Uh, listen, the point is, I think this is gonna go really wrong, so let's just do the same thing. Call it the start. Next time we're gonna do the start. So, this, before that was the start, now it's the middle. 
So that would mean two starts, two middles, and one end so far. I was able to change the middle, which means... If there's beginnings there and end... Okay, now I kind of want to do... This one. I've seen the end. I didn't like it very much, so I came back here. You didn't like it? That means... Oh no. What if the end is sad? Yeah, okay, the end... You told me before, even though it was obvious from the start. Can't really explain it, but somehow, yeah, less lonely. You've been here making stars. Okay. Yeah, it's nicer this way. Oh, I'm so happy you'd say that. Kind of things change fate, apparently. What kind of things you do, time. Um, man, <laughs> uh, I'm really overthinking this. But I guess now it makes sense for me to overthink it because she fucking dies. And it was my fault just because it was fucking curious. But, you know. Um, I want to say change fate. No, uh, let's say move the universe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it can be hard sometimes. But I can do good things with this power. Just like how your stars brighten up the cosmos, I can brighten up the future. That's really cool. You are so cool, Time. Mm-hmm. Yes, I suppose. I don't want to be alone either. But <laughs> I'm glad you feel the same, Time. Would it be alright to just lay here together? Just for a little while. If you want to, then I don't mind. I held her hand so that Nu wouldn't be able to sneak up on us. Our fingers interlaced so easily, as if they belonged together like this. But it was impossible. That feeling, even if it didn't make any sense, only made me hold tighter. As long as I held onto space, Nu wouldn't be able to take her away. I have a friend named Nu. I never really stopped to think about the... The fuck... The... The etymology of the word, I guess. We could lay, we could lay here and admire the stars together, and never do anything else, and be satisfied just like this. Time, can I ask you something? Hmm? What is it? What happened before? Ooh, ooh. What was it they made that you came back in order to change? You got separated. Oh no! But couldn't you follow my stars? I couldn't. You weren't able to make them anymore. That's terrible. Yeah. It was. I'm glad you came back. If we couldn't find each other, I'd want to change that too. I lay there in silence for a while. I had a feeling Space could sense it was waiting for something. She didn't ask a lot. As long as I held on to her, she had nothing to worry about. No. Surely she was watching from, watching us from somewhere the light from Space's stars didn't reach. I wanted to be ready. I wanted to be able to stop her when she appeared. But we fell asleep. Oh boy. I let it happen again. I lost space again. Time. Don't go back anymore. Why are you doing this? She's going to track me here again, isn't she? Another ending. Stay. Alright, um, ooh, that's kind of terrifying. Uh, memories. Okay, someone's here, I met a girl in a void, she's gonna cry. I wanted to stop her from crying. She's gone, when I opened our eyes, I was gone. Her demise, such a horrible thing to, to space. Thing happened to space, how could I change this? An ending, new luck to me in the loop of her taking space away. Another ending, we fell asleep together, I lost her again. Okay, there are three more endings. Yes. I knew what I had to do. I started looking for space. And as I wandered, I spotted a familiar light in the distance. I wanna- Okay, fuck being- Oh, no, 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 not wrapping. Yes, I wanna overwrite. Fuck recreating the memory. Let's do this one. I wanna save you. Space. Listen carefully. Someone called Nil is gonna come to take you and all your beautiful stars away. Huh? Please trust me. My name is Time. 
Okay, you're kind of laying a lot on her. Maybe I shouldn't have. Mm. And I came from a future where that's what always happens at the end. I, I don't understand. I know it's a lot to take in. I want to protect you. I don't want Nil to take you away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I let myself get taken away. It's not your fault, Space. You don't want to be alone either, do you? If you feel the same as me, then it must have hurt. It's okay. I'm able to come back to prevent things like this. Please don't cry. <laughs> okay. Okay, but we've are, if we're abandoning, ab abandoning, abandoning timelines, then this isn't the space we met. The space we met is that is dead, and the other space we met is also dead. This isn't the same one. We're abandoning different timelines. The original one is dead. I told I told space about other the but the bit I told space about the other versions of our meeting that I knew of. I told her Neil was something was somehow able to limit my power, trapping me in loops. Is this another one of Neil's loops, maybe? And keeping me from remarking far enough to stop her when she appeared. And space wanted to help. She said if we work together we might have a chance. It was better to try to find this monster on my own. Nail only seems to appear when we let her guard down. I tried waiting before, but we fell asleep. Then we have to make the first move. But what should we do? I don't know. If I could go back far enough, just enough to know exactly what's going to happen. I thought she was shaking a little bit, I don't know. So that I'd be able to fix it, I The only way I I've been able to learn anything is through seeing me get taken away. I don't wanna watch that happen again. Time. You're working hard, aren't you? I want to help. Oh, I don't want you to feel alone. I'm still here, so I hope I can do something for you. I'll stay like this for a while. She was warm. The space was warm. It felt nice. I considered pausing the universe here in this moment. After all, moving forward could cause something awful to happen again, and it was up to me. Whether or not to let this path lay out. Well, the thing is, as much as staying trapped in our good memories few sounds nice, if you experience those good memories all the time, it kind of loses. I just realized her hourglass, though. But uh, it kind of loses its meaning, you know? Because the fact that it's fleeting makes it more special, if that makes sense. But I knew I didn't have to be afraid, because I wasn't alone. Hey. Mew had already shown herself, and she looks more pissed than usual. Why are you doing this? This is Nil? Why do you look like me? She doesn't- Oh, no, I just noticed the clothes. Yeah, yeah. You're the copy. Why won't you stay erased? Oh. Space, run! I'll stop her! But I don't want to be separated from you. Just cry. It's only temporary. I promise I'll be able to find you later. So get out of here. I don't like this. I don't like this. Being touched? Oh. In an instant, Noah's body blinked out of existence. She slipped from my grasp. And once again, space was gone. Was there nothing I could do? Noah had beaten me no matter what I tried. My attempts to change fate were only hurting space again and again. Time. Why won't you look at me? You keep taking space away. Of course I won't look at someone who'd do that. You're crying for her? Oh, wait. We met Nil before. She's probably an abandoned version of space. And now we re-met space because... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Nil is space, but from a different timeline, a timeline that we abandoned and we killed, technically, we ended that timeline. And now this Nil is like a dead version of space, and now we're re-meeting space, and Nil probably feels abandoned because uh, we were supposed to like her. Wear her time, if that makes sense. Uh, at least that's my theory, based on just these comments. I felt so overwhelmed by hopelessness, I barely noticed my tears. How strange, I thought, for me to cry so easily. Space was always the one who... 
And there it was again, the feeling I'd known her for much longer than I could possibly have. I don't understand these feelings. Aren't you gonna reset again? What's the point if you always... Again? You said again. Then she remembers the other times that I... I asked you before, what are you? I am no. Emptiness. Void. Whatever you want to call me. Wherever there is, some there is something, I want to make it nothing. Does that make sense? Why would you want to do that? You, just ex you exist just to take space away? Space exists to take me away. Why, can I why can't you understand? Must I explain it to you? Well, it's the- it's the fucking- it's the perfect balance thing! The, the yin yang! Like, there has to be destruction and there has to be creation. You know? Time. Please listen. I am curious. You're still here. You'll really listen to me? Just say what you want to say. Fine. If I know what she's doing- why she's doing all this, I will be able to think of a way to stop her. When there's another feeling in my heart when I look at her. Sympathy? Why? I'm telling you, you met her before. Maybe she's not a different version of space, but... I mean, it would make sense for time to know space if this is just space but dead. And also her death would explain the, the whole, you know? In the very, very beginning, I was alone. There was only me and the thick, empty, infinite darkness that surrounds us now. And then the big thing happened. At some point I found I wanted there to be more than just that. That's when I changed from nothing to something. It was also when you first appeared in time. From that point it felt like I called it! I fucking called it! They met! They met before! It felt like we were all there ever was and all there ever would be. One time, and no, in one space, and no one else. We had so much fun together. I thought it would last for all eternity. But then, my light faded, and it stopped. You stopped, but I was still here. I was still here, but you were wrong to be with the light I'd left behind. I waited for the end to come again, thinking maybe I could reach you there. But whenever it came, you would just remind to be with another new me. Another new space. I called it. I knew it. Man, I knew it. Abandoned version of space. It made me so jealous. I waited so long for you to finally find me. But how could you? I couldn't cry. I couldn't create any light of my own for you to follow. You found new lights. Her stars. You forgot about me. How? How could that be true? I don't have any memories like that. There's no way I would forget about space. But you did. Again and again. She always returns to nothing, to me, and you always go back to the beginning. You never stay with me. You always want to be- you always want to stay with space, but not nil. It's because my darkness isn't as beautiful. You'll always choose her stars over me. I erased everything, all of the universe, and started over with just one. Just one for you and me. But space is always there too, and you always go to her. Is that why I can't remember it? Because you erased the universe you erased the universe that held those memories. Do you know what all the universes are now? It's you in space together, and I'm alone. That's why That's why I wanted to bring you to the end faster. I even learned how to stop you from rewinding. When I erased her, I could finally reach you, but you only got mad at me. I'd finally set everything right, but you didn't understand anything at all. I was stupidly hoping you would just remember everything if you just saw me again, but... <sighs> I was so angry when you didn't. How did I call memories that were just erased? Unless... These feelings in my heart... I still can't stop you from resetting. I can't stop you from doing what's always brought you closer to her. You've always been going farther and farther away. I didn't know what to do anymore. I didn't want to have to explain it all to you like this. I wanted to re remember it on your own. But I can't take this anymore. No. Even if those memories were erased from me, they still left an impression in my heart. And that impression, 
that love has driven my up my every action up to this point. But you and space are connected. All my memories with you where we flew space is now. That's how I got how I got it confused. I don't wanna hear that. Next to you I finally understand what I've been feeling all along. And it's that you are someone who is very precious to me. Even if those feelings were projected onto a you who wasn't you anymore. I'm sorry, no. I called it. I fucking called it. I'm I'm really happy that I actually got it right, the story right. You're so mean. You treated me like I was the bad one. I was the one who messed up from the start. Can you ever forgive me? All I wanted was to be at your side again, and you forgot about me. I won't forgive you so easily, obviously. <laughs> That's fine. I'll work, it, I'll work hard to make it up, all up to you. Good. You have all of eternity to do that. Just the two of us. Just the two of us, huh? She is the original one, but she seems insane. She seems unstable. I feel like she was traumatized to the point of insanity. No, but she's the original one. As I said before, all the other ones are different. My original space is different. This is the original space. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Just the two of us. I'm so happy. I've waited for this for so long. I know. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now and I spent all of eternity together, just like she said. Alone in the darkness, without spaces light. I felt like I let something behind. But being together with no... No. With my true space. That was all that mattered. I had a lot to make up for. And obviously I let something behind. I left her behind. That's the point. Uh, wait. Oh, uh, wait. Story and art by Nam Nam Nami, the creator of the thing. Music by Alex Huang. Cosmic backgrounds by Emmett. Special thanks to Triff, PV, Dark, Chibi Shadow, Coos, Wiley, Tiff. Uh, extra special thanks for supporters on Patreon and you. Thank you for playing. Oh, it remembers. I can't just reset. Oh, god damn it. This is. This is gonna be another Undertale. Man, if I reset, Neo's gonna remember. I wanted to see what happens if I didn't- Wait, no. I have the save points, no, but Neo still remembers. I wanted to see what would happen if I- If I left Neo and went back to space. But I guess that's all, right? Partially erased memories or... Memory locked? Ending locked didn't go back to space, would she forgive me? Let's just try restarting here. If I erase my memories, I could start over. I could do something different. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Don't make this difficult, no. No, don't leave me. Please don't leave me again. I finally have you. I don't want to go back to before. You don't remember she will though that's the point that's why we're here in the first place it'll be as if none of this ever happened please time please stay with me this is the only way to reach space you know when i play these games i never strive for completionism at least i don't usually do if the game is short enough and i like it enough i will but i usually just stick with the ending i got but god Damn it, I have to complete it. I have to get the other ending. I'm sorry, no. I can reset things back to before I lost the third space. Okay. I needed to find space right away. As I, as I made my way towards her, I felt relief to see her comforting light in the distance. What should I say to her? Please don't cry. Oh, <laughs> please don't cry. I'm sorry for leaving you alone. Please don't cry anymore, space. Have we met before? Sort of, but you can't remember. I know this must sound strange. It does, but how else could you know my name? I believe you. Sorry, I should introduce myself too. I'm time. Yep. 
I wish that Manoic trick of her is actually rigged. Nemoic? Nemonic? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Nemonic? Yeah, okay. So, time, where did you come from? So, if there's a beginning or an end, you would not like it. The ends I've reached so far have been the same. No, it takes you and all your stars away. No? Yes, no. The truth is, I've come back from those awful futures so I can save you from her. I feel bad for Nil, though. I mean, sure, she shouldn't have, like, interfered with my life, I guess, but I, I did abandon her. Uh, like, I, I do feel bad for her. Uh, it hadn't changed anything before, but I wanted to try it anyway. I had to be careful to go up from there. I'm doing my last one with space in this version of the universe. Space? Or something I want to say. But you don't love space. You love Nil. That was the whole point. The whole the whole reason why you're here is for Nil. Man, I feel bad. <laughs> what is it? I really like you. I like you a lot. I feel the same. Even if we only just met. Even if we only just met. Because you really wanted to stay with me, didn't you? Even if you had to try over and over. You've always come to find me, and make sure I wasn't lonely. Isn't that right? Don't make me sound so selfless. I didn't want to feel lonely either. Who wants to feel lonely? But really, I... I just wanted to be here with you. I don't want either of us to be left all alone. So... Like, talk with Nil? I guess? So you can all three get along? Just... Oh, sorry. The thought that we met... That we've met like this again and again is enough to make me never feel lonely again. Thank you, Time. Aw. Uh, I'm crying again. How could hearing those words make me so happy? I have no right to hear them yet. I haven't done anything to protect you but yet. I've only failed you over and over. You're trying your best. That's what it feels like to me. How can you know that? How can you know that everything I've told you isn't a lie? Because you say it so honestly. You can feel a connection in my heart, even if I don't remember our other meetings. Even if I don't completely understand all of this. I still think you're someone very precious to me, Time. Space. Ooh. Alright, another thing I do when I play dating sims is whenever I have the chance to get physical, I always take it. Of course, I don't harass the person, but I tend to be very straightforward in those. So, please say no if you don't want to, but is it okay if I kiss you? <gasps> I'm so happy you asked. Oh! Her warmth was unlike anything I'd ever experienced. In that moment, the stars around us grew brighter and brighter, washing out the darkness of the void until the whole cosmos was bathed in her light. And we were in the center of it all. Oh, uh, no, I'm so sorry. I won't forgive you. I won't. This is Nil? Why do you look like me? I have to erase you. There's no other choice. No, I won't let you touch her. You're hurting time. Please go away. She's hesitating. I'm hurting time? She's the one who... I don't want you to make time sad anymore. I think you should leave us alone. Oh, wow, she booked it. She really left. Did I do it? You won't have to reset anymore, will you? I think so. I think you're safe now. But why would no suddenly stop like that? Can I really end like this? <sighs> Is there a third ending? Is there a third ending where we all just chat? Yeah, it's fine like this. As long as space is safe, that's all I care about. We did it! Now we can be together forever! Yeah, I'm glad. I'm not glad! I want us all to get along. Polyamory. Space and I spent all of eternity together, just like she said. Alone had brilliant night, without no darkness. I felt like I left something behind, again. But being together with space, that was all that mattered. Everything was gonna be perfect from now on. Nope, because I'm gonna reset again. Now the- yeah. Well. 
If I erase my memories, I could start over, I could do something different. Huh? What are you talking about? I was thinking about it and I might have made the wrong decision. I need to start over. The wrong decision? Do you regret staying here with me? It's the only way to reach now. I have an idea on how to get the other memories. This space hadn't met me yet. She didn't know what was gonna happen. No, my fate was certain. I couldn't change it. But I wouldn't get anywhere but... I wasn't certain I could change it. But I wouldn't get anywhere but confusing her. I decided to try recreating the first memory, okay? Uh, how... I came from the future. I don't really want to say. I really like you. Precious to me too. I know you will. We're not kissing. Showing herself, why are you doing this? This is no? Why do you look like me? You're the copy, you only say erased. Maybe if I hold her tighter, I could just keep her here. What's the point in doing the same thing twice? I want us all to get along! God damn it, Nil! I failed again. Nexus right crying over her. Can we skip that part? Now, fuck you. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. I'm going to save space. Man, how do I... Man, I have no ideas on what to do. No, we can't. Oh, good. If that's how you feel, then I'll come with you. No, I think I should go alone. Oh, come on. No. I'll come back for you, so don't worry, okay? Okay, I trust your time. Please come back soon. Ugh, I had to travel quite a ways to reach somewhere spaces I didn't touch. I knew I would find no somewhere out here in the darkness, and eventually I did. Time, why did you follow me? I want to know what made you hesitate before. Uh, I want to know why you've been doing all this. We've met before, haven't we? That's right. Will you tell me your story again? I must. Why did you kiss her instead? How could you betray me? Yes! Yes! I'm sorry. I love both of you. That's why. I know it doesn't feel like it to you, but we'd always been together. Compared to me, you barely know her. Well, you and her are the same person. How could you even try to put us on the same level? That hurts so much. Did all of these memories together mean nothing? That's not it at all. Huh? Even though those memories were erased for me, they still left an impression in my heart. Okay, but yeah, it's the same thing. It's because I listen to space feelings that I understand what I'm feeling right now. And it's like, you are someone who's very precious to me. Mm, no, I want both. I have to go back. I promised myself I would go back to her. No, why? Am I not enough for you? I want both of you. Staying here would mean I'm forgetting a part of you again. And I don't want that. I'm not going to leave any part of you all alone. Do you understand? I do understand, but I still don't like it. What can I do in order for you to accept this then? If you're really serious, return to the beginning. I want to start all over with you. Instead of looking for space first, you have to find me instead, okay? I, do you promise you'll come to me first? I promise. Yes. I promise to come and find you. Good. It's a promise. Alright, no. I'll see you again soon. Oof. Alright. Noah somewhere out here in this emptiness. She'd been waiting for me all along. You found me. I promised I would. Now can we all be together? You also promised we'd never be apart. And you promised I was the only one you'd ever love. And you promised... Hold on, are you, you're talking about a version of me who's not around anymore. I personally haven't promised you anything like that. Forgetting about it is no excuse. I'm still holding you to everything you've said in the past. You're pretty strict. This is your punishment for everything you put me through. Fine. As long as you don't start making up, making things up to get me to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I'll 
totally fair. Are you ready to meet Space? No, she isn't gonna like me. She won't remember what you did before. And if we told her, I think she'd understand how you feel. What's wrong? You really don't want to meet her? It's not that, it's just... Do we have to go right away? I still haven't forgiven you yet. So that's how it is. Maybe if you gave me a kiss, perhaps I'd forgive you a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> You're really cute, I agree. I know. Aww. Aww. We'd fallen right back into the place, as if I'd never been gone. Her touch felt so familiar. How could I have forgotten it? I must have had a million kinds of encounters before. Why else would have felt so ritual? Everyone went like this. That was lost to me. I'd have to make new memories to replace them, one by one. Oh, these stars. They don't feel lonely. Their light feels happy. Oh, someone's here. together happily for all eternity. Polyamory! Let's go! <laughs> oh, this is a win for all the poly lesbians everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. I love this. I love this. Oh, and there's no save button anymore. I've gotten a true ending. Well, I've gotten all endings. Hell yeah! Alright, well, I guess this is it. Man, God, this was such a fun game. Like, not only did it get me talking in the beginning with all, like, the, I guess, philosophy-ish type sentences, but also, this game had pretty good mechanics, really cool characters, and it actually, like, I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to finish it. Uh, as I said before, I usually just stick with the ending I got first, but hey, here I actually got all of it. I like this. But yeah, I guess this is it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and vibed along with me. I'll see you next time.